it's Monday evening and if you've watched my vlogs for long you'll know that Dean has the boys at piano practice tonight or piano lessons so I am home and I am getting ready to make some dinner and I thought it would be fun if we did a little cook with me video um, it's about 10 after 8 and Dean will be here in about 20 to 30 minutes um, so I'm gonna do a really fast honey mustard salmon it's like a honey mustard glaze on top of salmon fillets and I'm gonna do some vegetables on the side I um, have some water in a pot that's coming to boil and I'm using this Prince Edward medley from Aldi's that I got it's wax beans green beans carrots and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring those to boil then when they're um, done cooking for about three to five minutes I'm gonna put them on a baking dish um, like a baking tray and I'm gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper on them, and maybe a little olive oil and some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, and I'm just gonna put those in the oven to bake for a little bit. And then I'm gonna start prepping the glaze that goes on top of our salmon. It will also go on a baking sheet, and then it will go in the oven for, you know, like maybe five to seven minutes. Um, it's a very quick meal, and it's very healthy because salmon's really great for you, and then of course vegetables are good for you. So I thought it would be nice if you guys just Hung out with me tonight while I make some dinner and I'll talk you through the recipe so you know how to do it. Um, yeah, so how are you guys doing on this Monday evening? We are good. Charlie's here on the floor with me. You can't see him, but he's uh, he's hanging out with me. Um, been getting some work done today. We haven't had school today except for a few little things that the boys have done. So we just had a really relaxed day. It's been really nice. I have been working really hard to only put like one or two major work things on my to-do list each day so that I don't feel overwhelmed and at the end of the day I feel better because I've checked off the one or two things that I wanted to get done instead of having this big old list of to-dos and only having like two of them checked off and then I still have all of this stuff left on my list. So I did that and I got done with everything I needed to do today. Um, so that always feels good. Um, and yeah, and school's going well. We're in our second term of school. We, uh, have to plan some trips. Like, we didn't do a full spring break like we normally do this year. Um, I think we're just gonna try to plan, like, a weekend trip instead of a whole week break. And not really doing, like, we don't really go on a vacation for that week. So, I would rather do, like, a weekend kind of thing and get through school earlier have a longer winter break or maybe take more more breaks throughout the year anyway school's going well we haven't had any breaks yet but yeah so the boys are doing well with that um trying to think what else is new they just switched to a new chores chore schedule it's kind of the same schedule but they're each doing different chores for the second term of school um yeah, so they usually stick with one chore for about 12 weeks. That works really well for us. I actually meant to write a blog post about how the boys are doing chores. I think I'll still do that so I can explain a little bit more than I will in this video. But while I'm waiting for this water to boil, and I know they say a wash pot doesn't boil, but it will boil eventually, and I'm going to put this in. Um, but while I'm waiting on this water to boil so I can stick these vegetables in, um, I thought I would just catch you guys up on some things. Yard work is going well. I actually don't know if you guys can see out the window here. It probably looks like a huge, just muddy mess out there, but that's really what our front yard looks like with all of the work going on with the French drains and the work around the pond. It just looks like a mess. Um, you know, it's kind of like you're in the middle of these big projects that they just look so ugly and it's kind of depressing because you're like, I don't know you're just kind of in the the uh, monotony of it like it's taking forever and there's so many little steps and we have to do one thing then we have to wait before we can do something else and that's kind of where we're at right now so the front yard I've just kind of given up it's gonna look gross and muddy and there's not gonna be any grass even after we get all of the grading done it's just not gonna look great this year but hopefully next year it's gonna look really nice so I do have high hopes for that Okay, I'm, this water is um, kind of starting to steam, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick these vegetables in. 
and I'm not really trying to cook them in this water. I'm just trying to dethaw them and soften them. So I'm gonna hopefully let it come to a boil quickly and um, let it cook, like I said, three to five minutes. Then I'll strain the water and I'll lay them on this baking dish and I'll show you what I do with it after that. veggies are boiling and I have the onion and garlic on this baking tray. I'm going to add, if you guys can see, some olive oil on there. And when I drain the water and the vegetables, I'll add the vegetables and I'll put some salt and pepper on. So since they're wet, the salt and pepper will stick. And then I'll sprinkle the Parmesan cheese on top and then I'll stick that in the oven. And while I'm still waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and make up this glaze, the honey mustard glaze that goes on the salmon. So I'm going to show you how I do that. All right, so this is um, some stone ground mustard. It's a gourmet mustard. It, I don't remember where I got this, if I bought it or if it came in like a gift basket at Christmas. But I'm gonna use about two tablespoons. Yeah, and I don't measure, I just kind of like guess. I look at things and guess. That's probably a really generous two tablespoons. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> So, two tablespoons of mustard and four tablespoons of honey. This is just a raw honey. Again, I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of like eyeing it and guessing where I'm at. All right, so I chopped some, or chopped, I grated some fresh ginger. So, this was... Just some fresh ginger. It's about a teaspoon that I'm putting in there. And I'm gonna use a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm gonna be very careful here. And just kinda guesstimate on that. If I can get the lid back on. And then just a wee bit of salt and pepper. For most fish recipes, you're supposed to sprinkle salt and pepper on both sides of the fish. You usually do about double the salt um, than you do, or like, I guess, twice the amount of salt than, than pepper. So I'm just gonna mix this together. I'm gonna taste it and see what I think it tastes like. Like, if it tastes okay, then we're good. And, sorry, the dog is bothering the cat. If I need to add or change anything, then I'll change it. I'm gonna put a little bit more honey because I think I added too much salt or too much garlic one, I'm not sure. Just a wee bit more honey. Yeah. Okay, this is good. without cheese because my oldest kiddo, Judah, does not care for any kind of cheese. So I'll leave that section off. And we go heavier on the Parmesan than some people may. But you know, you can put as much or as little on as you want. We like ours really cheesy. Now let's do the salmon. Okay, so this is just a wild caught 
Alaskan salmon fillets. I buy frozen, but you can buy fresh if you want. That's totally up to you. These have been thawing for a bit. And basically all I'm gonna do is rub this glaze over the top of the salmon. And the recipe that I gave you for the glaze is enough for eight fillets. So cut it in half if you wanna do four or you can do more if you're cooking enough for you know, 12 or 16 people, you just add a little bit more. If your oven is preheated, salmon is so quick to cook. You want it to be nice and flaky, not too tough. If you overcook it, it'll be really tough. I also meant to tell you that I have some rice, just some jasmine rice cooking in my instant pot because I like to have a little salmon with a little bit of rice and then some veggies. I think that's like a pretty well-balanced meal right there. Okay, so this is Dean's plate, my plate, Judah, Isaiah, Uriah, and Ezra's plates. They're so excited. You're gonna love the salmon. You may not love the veggies, but you're gonna have to eat vegetables, so makes you big and strong and healthy. You want to be big and strong and healthy, right? Yeah, but yes. I, I just don't like I just don't like vegetables. I, don't I like, like mac and cheese. I want mac, mac and cheese. Mac and, mac cheese. and yeah. cheese is not the healthiest thing ever because it's just a bunch maybe of bottom, noodles. Maybe it's and a cheese. Lot of it's good. It's cheese. It's good. Cheese is healthy. But that has cheese on it. Yum yum. Good. In your tum tum. All right, Ezra. But ready? Not as much cheese as Let's see Isaiah's face. He's ready to eat some delicious food. I need food because I like food. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed seeing this recipe and seeing it plated up. I hope you guys give it a try. If you do, I would love to know if you like it as much as we do. Um, yeah, so again, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this cook with me video and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, one more thing. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell to be notified when new videos are available. Talk to you guys later, bye.